welcome back all right guys um i don't know what a holiday does to some people but yeah me i have too much to think about and um i just I, I just show you recently that I added some more uh, Distress Inks pads um, Started with the small ones and yeah, since then it got a little bit wild So um, I want to give you a little update on um, my little ink adventure Well, it's not an adventure because I had these bright colors a very long time and recently I added some um, nice vintage colors just to test uh, some colors out but I love them so so much the new colors that I added them in big ones too so I think I will have these two little ones downstairs uh, to use I think um, but I love these storage boxes really this I had one and I love these so so much but they it, it was full when I added three more in here and now I added I bought another one because I love to storage um, these and these are from uh, Tim Holtz the, himself is from Dr Distress the mini ink storage tin love these and um, so yeah, I could have made these full, but I thought it would be nice to have a brown and the vintage one in one box and the brighter colors in the other box. So I really love how these all are in one container. Anyway, uh, those are the mini inks that I have and it's not a good thing that I see that I have <laughs> nine places left but love the storage these and I when I was searching for another uh, tin I saw that Tim Holtz also have a nice storage bin for the big ones so yeah since I recently bought uh, some um, colors more and these are the colors that I bought recently and I uh, added all the names on it and I try to ink the right color uh, on the side so it's easy to see which one I have as you can see it's not completely dry it shines a little bit it the, the sticker is not completely dry yet but um, so yeah these are my new ones and of course my vintage photo and my brush cordere and the old paper some of them I already have and the Victorian velvet I had so but recently I bought some more of the um, yeah the vintage one the weather wood the speckle at ice porch I think they will look amazing on some papers for the edges I love to do the smooching the edges and I think these colors would add sometimes a little bit more than only using a vintage photo and the black one those two are the ones that I use years and years and years but I really love this storage um, bin so and this is also from this dress from Tim Holtz I really love it and um, you and they have a nice, um, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a nice plastic one inside here that keeps it all so, oh my gosh, this was not dry yet. All right, it keeps it really nice in its place to keep the, the lids nicely closed. And I could have watched for some wooden storage place thing, but it's not that I use those things so many times so I wanted to keep these um, in these boxes also because I have the, 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 the tin ones too I think they look amazing on one spot and they are stackable so I have two and if you can see it moves quite nice and this one and yeah um, <laughs> I have to apologize because I I did say when I had the tea dyed one the very first time I thought mm -hmm, I don't like it that much and blah 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 and I go for the ink pads not the oxide ones 
but when I'm going, I use this now quite a lot in my uh, in my recently project, and um, I must say I do like them. So I take my words back that I did not like it because I do, and actually I like it so so much that I ordered some more, and because I think oh I really like some. Um, pastel tints like the lilac and the tattered rose and the salvage platina I really love to have some nice pastel colors really love these three and I think oh and maybe because it works so so nice to make uh, nice vintage tags um, that I also uh, added the bundled serge I need a nice green one and the weathered wood, some grey one, and the vintage photo, and the brushed corderay I, I ordered uh, because I also like to use these. I'm gonna use these also for the to uh, de stress the edges. Um, but yeah, I really like them, so I can't. I really take my words back, and yeah, I do have still my very first vintage photo and black one. I can't get rid of them I all I already have new ones but I want to just save these because I still can use them downstairs so yeah that is my update on my ink yeah it's not an ink adventure it's just I go nuts and I just yeah I like to have them so yep I really like those bins um this one's already full this one still has some room that's not is good that I need that I know that they are still have room but um, so yeah that is my little update that I like to share with you guys really like these bins so these are from Distress from Tim Holtz from Ranger Tim Holtz itself the mini ink storage tin those are these and these are the Distress ink pad storage tin also from Ranger they can hold 15 ink pads and they are stackable so would be cute 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 in your craft room all right so that was my ink update and i hope i will stop now searching for nice colors but oh my gosh recently <laughs> there is going to be a nice craft fair so I do not hope that I see new cars because I first like to use these. Love it. Hi. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.